Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to import your Debtbox wallet, your seed phrase, into MetaMask. You can uh, do this with Trust Wallet as well. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how you can view your NFTs, uh, any, any NFTs that you have currently uh, received from minting. Okay, so the first thing you need is you need your 12 word seed phrase, your mnemonic seed phrase, when you first uh, set up your Debtbox account. Now, if you haven't got that, uh, I can't actually log into the site right now because it's under maintenance, but you'll need to get that from your actual Debtbox account. Uh, so, but you should have uh, saved this mnemonic phrase, this 12 word seed phrase, the words that should be in order. Uh, you need that, okay? So I've already uh, got mine here. I've actually copied it to clipboard. So what we're going to do, the easiest way to do this is if you've already got, for example, MetaMask or Trust Wallet uh, installed as a browser extension on your browser, you can just create a whole new account, which is really simple. I'll show you how to do it. So I'm in Chrome. This is the easiest way to do it is, is in Google Chrome. Uh, so if you look on Google Chrome here, if you just come to your you know little icon, if you click on that, it should be an option to add. See, I've got all these different accounts I use for all sorts of things, but you should have an add button down here. Uh, it'll be other profiles, uh, and you should see the add button like I've got it right here. And if I click on that, it's going to allow me to add a completely new account. Uh, okay, so, and we can use this to actually install MetaMask or Trust Wallet and just use this account for that specific uh, task for, you know, using it for Debtbox. So right here, I'm just going to click on continue without an account because I don't need to sign in. So I'm going to click on that and then just choose a name. So you could call this, uh, you know, debt box, for example, and then just choose a color. I'll just choose that. No, that's too ugly. I can't do that. We'll just go neutral. Okay, and then click uh, and then select done. All right. So now when it just where this error is, you'll get all these errors if you've got current, you know, extensions that are trying to connect. But don't worry about that. Uh, all you need to do is go to, I'm going to use MetaMask, uh, MetaMask.io, okay, and then I'm just going to, this is my smart security, uh, and then I'm just going to download four, click on download form, we're just going to add MetaMask to our browser, I just need to come across here because I've got this scaled up, and then add to Chrome, okay, and then add extension, and then we're going to get the default startup page. Okay, so this is where you need your seed phrase, your 12 word seed phrase from your Debtbox account, and you just uh, agree to MetaMask. Now, look, I'm not going to go into the security, uh, you know, into a security lecture to you, but you shouldn't really be putting your seed phrase online at all. But, uh, you know, this is just a tutorial. I'm just showing you how to do it. So, but, you know, the way I do it is totally different. Uh, because I use seed phrases that are backed up by passphrases and all sorts. But just to get this going so you can understand how to do it, uh, you click on import an existing wallet. Okay, so we'll click on that. I agree. And here's where you've got to put your debt box passphrase, uh, seed phrase, mn mnemonic phrase. Okay, so we'll just paste that in there. Okay, so you can just copy all 12 words and just click in there and then just control V on your keyboard and paste it in there. Confirm secret recovery phrase. And then just create a password. Okay, got that, then import wallet. Okay, got it. Next, done, and just X that out. Okay, so you're on the Ethereum main net. We need the Binance Smart Chain. So you just click on this right here. Let me just zoom in a bit so you can see that. Okay, so we'll just click on that and then we just go to add network. Okay, and then come down until you see BNB chain right here that one right there, click on add, okay, and then scroll down and click on approve, and then switch to BNB, because we want to switch to that chain, okay. Right, so now we have it, I see I've got a little bit of BNB in here, so this is my Debtbox account, okay. Now, if you want to add the tokens, uh, if you want to add any of the tokens, I've got a list of them here, okay, so this is NatG, Grow, Alum, Explore, and all you've got to do, so you'll see this list in the description of this video, if you want to display any of these in the MetaMask wallet or the Trust wallet, you need to import the contract for each token. Okay, so all we need to do is just, I'll just, I'll do NatG for an example. I uh, actually, I'll do, I think I've got some Bev so you can actually see them displayed. I'm not sure what I've got, but I'll, I'll grab some Bev. So I'll go uh, Control, I'll C and copy that. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna to come to my MetaMask wallet and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna click on, so I've got tokens selected, I'm gonna click on import tokens. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is just paste that contract address. So, okay, so that one that I've just copied, the Bev one, I'm gonna paste that in the token contract address right here and it will automatically fill these out, okay? Now all I need to do is go next and then import. You can see I've got some here. It's already showing the balance, okay? And there we go. And then we just need to come back up here, click on account, and you can see now that the Bev uh, is showing the tokens, okay? So you can do that with, you know, if you've got tokens for each of these, uh, you can just import each contract address and do it the same as I just did it. So I'll do it once more. So if I want Nat G, uh, let's say black gold, I'll copy that contract address, okay? Now I'll come back to tokens, make sure tokens are selected, come to import tokens, and then just paste that contract address in there for black gold. And you can see it's already brought up the symbol and then just go next and then import. And I've got like a little bit. <laughs> okay, and then come back to account. So now we've got black gold. So you can do this with all the tokens that you uh, own. Okay, and it will just show up because this is your debt box account. Okay, this is the address. All right, now what I want to show you is uh, how to actually uh, see your NFT. So if you've received any NFTs already on this account, uh, I'll show you a marketplace where you can actually uh, view them. Okay, so it's called tofu tofu nft.com. Okay, so this is an NFT marketplace, but we can also view our NFTs if we've received any already to our Debtbox account, we'll be able to see them here. Okay, so all we need to do, we already in Chrome, if you come up to this little jigsaw puzzle and we just come to MetaMask and we just click on that little pin, that'll make sure that we've now got MetaMask up the top there. Okay, so all we need to do here is we need to click on uh, your icon, the little person icon right here. Okay, click on that and we want to connect MetaMask. Okay, so we click on MetaMask. And now all we need to do is make sure that we uh, select the account and just click on next because we're just connecting our MetaMask account uh, to a smart contract to tofu.net so that we can view anything on our, uh, any NFTs that we have on our wallet. Okay, so just click on next, click on connect. It's connecting. Okay, so now we're connecting and you'll see because your icon would have changed to something like that. Okay, so now all we need to do is just click on that and see it's got my NFTs. Oh, there we go. Okay, it just took a bit. It's because I've got this scaled in. Okay, so you can see that this is our address. This is my address. And if we come down, you can see it's already showing three NFTs that I've minted. Okay, so we've got the Nat G, two Nat Gs and one black gold. Okay, now once they're in here, you can actually sell them. Okay, so uh, I would wait until the migration and everything's happened though. Okay, so, and I get a lot of people asking, you know, can, uh, what's the price going to be of these NFTs? Well, we really don't know. It, you decide the price. So if you want to sell your black gold for, you know, $5,000, then you can list it for $5,000. Somebody might list one for $4,999. Then the next person might be $4,998. So the market decides on what these NFTs are worth. No one, the market the act, well, you as being part of the market, so the people decide, all right? So there is no set price. Whatever you think it's worth, you can list it at that, and if somebody buys it, they, they buy it. If they don't, they don't. Okay, so now just also realize that you'll be able to stake these NFTs uh, when the migration has happened uh, to the layer one blockchain, you'll be able to stake these NFTs, okay? And then you'll be able to earn rewards, just like you've been earning rewards uh, for the licenses. Same principle, really. Okay. Um, now, just remember that these now these NFTs, because you can view them right here, that means they're in your wallet, all right? So they're actually in your wallet now. Now, what you can do is you can come to, if you come to your wallet, just so I'll just show you this. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so if you copy your address right here, just copy it, click on that. So this is in MetaMask. You can come to BS, BSC Scan. BSC scan, we'll just click on that, click on that BSC scan, and you can put your address in here, okay, put your address in there, all right, and if you come down, it's going to show you NFT transfers right here, and if you click on that, you can see here we've got three, okay, and if I just come across here, 
you can see the three that I just showed you in the marketplace. Okay, so you can see them right here. All the information's right here on the blockchain. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, I hope that helps. I hope you understand now that just remember that it's all about your seed phrase, your mnemonic phrase, being able to import it. You can do it on Trust Wallet. Uh, you know, you can do it on use Trust Wallet. You can use MetaMask. All right. So I hope that's helped. And uh, more videos coming out.